Hi guys, um, Terry here again. Um, I'm going to be looking at question nine in the January 2022 CSEC maths paper, right? Okay, so in question nine, we have um, a diagram shows a circle with points PQRS lying on the circumference, right? Um, and it's marked O RPZ diameter. So basically, they give us some information on this particular diagram here, right? Um, so we have a circle, we have a tangent, right? So this here is a tangent. Now, what do they want? Now, let me just get a copy of this here and come across and say. All right, so let's see what's happening here. Now they want determine the value of each of the following angles, show detailed working and give a reason for your answer. So they want, it, want you to figure out what is the value of X, right? What is the value of angle X? Now, what we do know here is that RP, right? RP is a diameter, right? So RP is a diameter and this here is a tangent. So what's something? This here is a diameter, right? And this here is a tangent, right? So if that's a diameter and that's a tangent, the angle between a diameter and a tangent is 90 degrees, right? So therefore, what we can do is to say that 2x plus 3x, right? Those two angles, when I add them up, I should get 90 degrees. So therefore, 5x is equal to 90 degrees. So therefore, x is equal to 90 degrees over 5. So therefore, x is going to be equal to 90 divided by 5. And that's going to give me 18. Right? So angle x is 18 degrees. And the reason we're saying is that the angle between... A tangent and diameter is 90 degrees right so the next part now they want us to work out what is y right what is y now here's the thing so this x here, we know this angle here is 18 degrees. You know that, right? And if you look carefully, this here, SP, right? That's a chord. But RP is a, um, a diameter, right? So what's something? I can work out this angle here, right? I can get this angle here. Because if RP is a diameter, right? So one reason we say in there is since... RP is a diameter, right? Angle RSP is equal to 90 degrees, right? So therefore, I can work out this angle here, right? And that angle there is going to be 90 minus 54 right and that's going to give me 90 minus 54 and i'm going to get 36 so that angle there is 36 degrees right but uh hold on i don't think i need all of that do i actually i i don't need all of that Right? I, I don't need all of that to work that out. If you want to get y, all we need to do is to say, um, so when I add up y plus 90 degrees, right, plus the 18, I should get 180 degrees. Right? So I, I really don't need this, at least for this part of the question. So angle y is simply going to be 180 degrees minus, you just need to add the 90 plus the 18. Right? So therefore, y is equal to 180 degrees minus um, 90 plus um, 18 is going to give me 108 
So therefore, y is equal to 180 minus 108. And that's going to give me 72 degrees, right? So angle y is 72 degrees, right? I'm still trying to figure out why they, why they, why did they make us work out, um, why they give us a 54? How is that helping? Okay, well, it doesn't matter, right? So this one here is 72 degrees, right? So angle y is 72. Hopefully that's correct. Next part here, you want to work out angle Z. Alright, so angle Z now. So since you already worked out angle Y, look at something here. This angle Y here and this angle Z should be the same because SP, right, is a chord and you're trying to make an angle on the circumference starting at the two ends of this chord. So therefore, angle Z, right? So Z has to be equal to angle Y, right? But we know that angle Y is 72 degrees. And the reason here is that angles in the same segment are equal. Right, so angle in the same segments are equal. That's what we put in here. Now, this next part here now, what it tell us here? Uh, diagram shows straight roads connecting towns L, M, N, and R. So basically they give us some information and they give us some angles, right? What do they want us to work out? Calculate angle M, L, N, M, L, N. So they want us to work out this angle here, right? That angle there. So all we need to do here, we need to look at this triangle, L, M, and N is not a right angle triangle. So I can use my sine rule here, right? And the reason why I'm using the sine rule is because I have an angle and I have a side opposite, right? I don't know this angle, but I have a side opposite here. So using the sine rule, right? We can say a length, Right, so this is what the sine rule looks like a over sine a is equal to b over sine b. Right, so we can choose any side we want. So let, let me do, um, let's say the 10. So 10 over sine of the angle we don't know. Right, so let's say now they call it mln, so I'll use that mln is equal to b, which I'm going to use as a 12 kilometers divided by sine of 88, right? So when you have a question like this here, all we need to do is a cross multiply. So we can say 12 multiplied by sine MLN is equal to 10 multiplied by sine 88 degrees. So therefore sine MLN is equal to 10 multiplied by sine 88 degrees all over 12, right? So therefore sine MLN is equal to, we're gonna use the calculator to work that out. So that is um, 10 multiplied by sine 88 divided by 12. And I'm getting 0 0.834, sorry, 0 0.83, 0 0.833. So therefore, MLN is equal to arc sine of 0 0.833, and that's going to give me, so second function, sine, and I'm going to get about 56.4 degrees. So this here is 56.4 degrees, right? So that's my angle there. The next part of the question, they want NR. Now, if we look at triangle L, N, and R, clearly it's not a right angle triangle, but I have an angle and I have the two sides on either side of the angle. That's one of the conditions for me to use the cosine rule. So you're going to say using the cosine rule, 
right? And what I normally tell my class is don't just try to learn off the room, right? Try to understand what you're doing in terms of the triangle that you have. So I'm going to write the formula in terms of what I have. So nr squared is equal to 12 squared plus 18 squared minus, open brackets, 2 by 12 by 18 multiplied by cosine of 25 degrees, right? So that's typically what my cosine rule looks like. So nr squared is equal to 144 plus 18 squared. So 18 squared is going to give me 324. So this is 324 minus, and let's work that other piece out in the calculator. So that's 2 by 12 by 18 by cosine 25. And I'm going to get 391.5, 391.5, yes, 391.5. So therefore, nr squared, right? So we use the calculator for this. Um, 144 plus 324, right, minus 391.5. And I'm going to get 76.5. So therefore, nr is the square root of that. So nr is equal to second function square root. And I'm going to get 8.7. So this here is going to be 8.7 kilometers, right? So that's my answer for that part. And the last part of the question, that we want you to determine the bearing of town R from L. So the bearing of R from L. So we have L here, and we want the bearing of R. So the bearing that we want is this whole angle here, right? Now you worked out this angle here previously, and we got how much? We got 56.4, right? So this angle here is 56.4. So therefore, the bearing is going to be fifty plus fifty six point four plus twenty five. Right, all of this is in the degrees, and I'm going to get. 50 plus 56.4 plus 25 and you're going at 131.4 right so that's the bearing of town r from l right so like i said guys if you haven't done so as yet um please hit like and subscribe right guys take care